So under a new president, Paige Mulholland, who came from Arizona State and had been intimately involved there with the building of their uh, engineering programs to national stature and involving the business community in that process. When he came to Wright State, he saw that as a, a golden opportunity for him uh, because he couldn't imagine a state school as close to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in this community and not having very strong engineering programs. Page and uh, Chuck Hathaway decided that rather than building a new science building, they would build a new engineering building and then the space that was vacated by engineering would be uh, renovated for the science college. Fritz and Dolores were approached about uh, donating uh, some money for the building, and they did, and Fritz became very involved with that. In fact, I took him up the building while it was under construction several times. Chris's earliest involvement with the university was an as an adjunct. He used to teach classes, I think, in mathematics. He was a very good friend of Fritz, and uh, he had fond feelings in the university, and uh, uh, planned for a long time to somehow support the college. The research that we had going on was using up pretty much all of the space we had, and we went, well, needed more space for, uh, for research. That was sort of my last big function as the dean, was the fundraising, and putting together the stuff for the Joshi Center, and then I retired right about the time while they were still building the building. My feeling is that Wright State uh, was a wonderful place for me, because as a new school when I came there, I didn't appreciate it when I came, but there were all these opportunities because there weren't all these senior people who we've been doing it this way forever, and, and I was uh, not likely to make any big impact. It provided me in my career an opportunity to have more impact than I could have had at most other institutions, I think. just It was new and growing, and uh, if you had ideas and you could put them out there and maybe they would be adopted. When I first uh, came to uh, Wright State, um, I recognized that um, Dr. Uh, Jim Brindberry uh, had already established a very good college and uh, have already established all the necessary, um, at that time all the necessary educational programs and all the programs are in full operation. And so I thought that perhaps um, uh, it's time for us to move uh, in the research direction. And I recognize that there are pockets of uh, research uh, strengths here uh, in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. So I, I told myself that perhaps that this college uh, should try to become uh, nationally or internationally recognized in certain areas of our research. Our faculty members are top-notch. Uh, we, we, we can compete um, in many, many areas against just any researchers across the nation or internationally. We have many, many uh, great researchers here that they supposedly were able to um, to apply for like National Science Foundation Career Award. Okay, I mean the caliber of our faculty member is really up there, uh, very competitive. So when three years ago, when the uh, Chancellor's Office announced the opportunity of establishing the Center of Excellence, Ohio Center of Excellence, we were ready. 
And so I encouraged the faculty to submit the proposals and we did have four proposals coming out of the College of Engineering here and we got all those proposals funded. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and I want to congratulate our faculty and staff on the 25th anniversary of our College of Engineering and Computer Science. I'm so sorry I can't be with you today, but I'm here in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, and I want to assure you that I'm coming via this video with that spirit to you today. I want to thank everyone for all the hard work uh, that we celebrate today. The thousands of students that you've helped educate in engineers and computer scientists are making a real difference not only here in the Dayton region, throughout Ohio, but throughout the world, and you can be so proud of that. That's our number one expectation, and what we care deeply about is the success of our students, and you should be so proud of what you've accomplished. But you've done so much more. The partnerships that you've developed with business and industry are really becoming a driver of the economy of this region and all through Ohio. And I know the best is yet to come for many of those opportunities. I want to thank you too for making Wright State University through your hard work one of the leading research institutions in the state of Ohio. We can be proud that we continue to grow our research, not only our basic research, but a lot of applied and use inspired research. And that's coming from your college and you can be quite proud of that. I also want to thank you for all the ways that you engage the community uh, by helping our students become real solvers of real problems in the community, engaging our students, their energy, their expertise. That's a very important part of the future of Wright State University. So again, I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I want to thank you, I want to congratulate you, and as I just said a few minutes ago, I want to remind you that what you've accomplished in 25 years is truly remarkable. It's fantastic what you've done. But I know with the hard work and the leadership within your college that the best is yet to come. I have no doubts about that. So again, congratulations on the 25th anniversary and here's to 25 more good years.